Well, we just learned in the last hour that our state will not be receiving those additional shipments of the COVID-19 vaccine that were promised by the federal government. Instead, the Department of Health says we'll be getting the same amount that we have been getting for the past several weeks, which is about 100,000 doses a week. All of this started this morning with a tweet from the governor of Oregon. Friday morning, Oregon Governor Kate Brown tweeted out what she called disturbing news that she heard straight from the mouth of Operation Warp Speed's top official. The tweet reads, states will not be receiving increased shipments of vaccines from the national stockpile next week because there's no federal reserve of doses. Governor Jay Inslee responded to the news on Twitter as well, saying governors were told repeatedly by Health and Human Services there was a strategic reserve of vaccines. And this week, the American people were told it'd be released to increase supply of vaccine. It appears now that no reserve exists. The Trump administration must answer immediately. Seattle King County Public Health Officer Dr. Jeff Duchin shared his concerns. It would be very disappointing if indeed we're not going to get the additional doses that we had been expecting. And as I think, as you all know, um, the pace of uh, vaccine delivery to the states has not kept up with what was advertised. While there's now worry about the state losing out on expected doses, the vaccine allocation to counties appears to be uneven, with Skagit County officials saying they just got word they'll get 1,000 doses next week after not receiving any in two weeks. This while Clallam County is already starting to vaccinate people in phase B1 as they have more than enough doses to blow through phase 1A. King County has received 23% of the state's total vaccines, but Duchin says that's still not enough. I think everyone realizes we have um, significantly more than 23% of the state's uh, frontline health care providers in, in King County and in, in our metro area. So uh, proportionally, you know, we haven't received a, a, um, the amount of vaccine that we would expect to um, be able to offer it to all the eligible health care providers. And even with less doses than expected, the Washington State Department of Health is saying we're still planning on moving into phase B1 in the next few days. But they wanted to add that if you are still in phase 1A and have not received your vaccine to get on that as soon as possible, because starting with B1, 1 million people from our state will be added to the eligibility list. So you need to get in there and do that as soon as possible. Live in Seattle, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.